Alright, hey guys, so it is Friday, and I have not recorded for the past two days for reasons. Um, so Wednesday, I went out to lunch, well, I did my workout, went out to lunch for my celebration of opening up my store. Um, I went to the grocery store, and then I came back home at 2, and that's when I kind of started doing, like, admin work. So I was essentially just kind of dealing with, like, emails, because I'm terrible at those. And I have a personal and a business account now. So I was kind of going through them, deleting things I just don't need, unsubscribing from certain emails that I'm like, I don't care for anymore. Um, and then I was either putting them away in their folders, or I was um, keeping them in my actual, like, inbox because some of them I need for like links are just they're just important to have so I did that and some of them I took notes on because some of them were for like OmniSend and Printify so I was kind of curious to see what those have which I do need to set up some email stuff too which will probably be for next week so I was just doing that and that took me until eight o'clock which is fine I did work on some art which I'll show you in a second and then yesterday was kind of just a blah day because I got it worked out and then I was dealing with my Notion because I need to fix my Notion up really bad. Because I kind of just put stuff everywhere and I was like, I need to fix it up. So I did. So it looks, it's, to me, it's a little bit better, a little more manageable. So I made it look better. So that's what I did in the morning. Um, and then I went to go to my parents' house to go hang out with them for a little bit because I haven't seen them. I go down there like every two, three weeks. So I'm like down there like once a month just to see them and the dogs. Um, and then we had dinner and I stayed till like 8 o'clock and then came back home. And then I worked on some more art. So I'm working on my next video, which technically is supposed to be for tomorrow, but I'm not going to finish it in time. And at this point with these videos, I'm not too concerned if I get them out on time. Because it's like I've been doing shorts quite a few times a week. I'm talking about like YouTube specifically. Um, so I do, you know, the shorts several times a week, roughly like four or five times. And then I have my studio vlogs I do. So that's why I'm like, I'm not really concerned about if I um, post these videos, because right now they're not top priority. I want to get more of them out, obviously, but if I don't, I don't. Because I'm making a decision for now, is that like my normal drawings I do, like for example, with like my dragons and my dinosaurs, like these guys, I'm going to stop for the time being until I can catch up with the ults, um, just so I'm not like too far ahead. So I'm just going to stop for the time being on those so I can just work on the comics, any like paintings I want to do, the redraws. I think that was pretty much it. And then like, you know, like sculpting videos, like craft videos, I suppose. Because I also have like some diamond painting stuff, which I actually might work on after this. Um, so that's my decision for the time being until I can catch up. I also have character art too. I'll still keep doing the character art because I want to get that out in a timely manner. Um, cause I just did Arlathea and Riders, so next up is Crew. Shadows. Wrong one. Next up is Shadows, <laughs> then it's Crew. But, that's what I'm gonna start doing until I can catch up on my alts, and then we will start making up new art with that, so I'm okay with that. Just so it's a little bit less for me to do for the time, to get caught up. Because these drawings, some of these drawings I haven't done in like, two years. So the alts is way, way different right now. So like here's the original and here's the alt. So that's why I'm like, it look, looks a little bit different, but that's okay. That just means I've progressed a tiny bit. Like it still looks the same, but it looks better. So I've progressed. So I'm doing that. I'm also gonna work on the seasonal still, which I'll work on Christmas. Because my goal is to get the Christmas stuff done by the 15th. So I'm already ahead on that technically because I only have the Christmas stuff to do. So, and those will probably be a weekend project, too, when I come home from work for Saturday and Sunday is probably what that will be. But the art, so I'm doing the redraw right now. So I'm working on Sonic, actually. So, because what I'm doing is I'm literally combining him with Arlathea style. So I know he's also got, I know he has green eyes and the yellow buckle. So the thing is, is because excluding Arlathea, everybody's only three colors. Like, every character I do is three colors. I need to finish the marker up on him, which I'll get done today. But I had to pick his three main colors. So I was originally going to do the green. Because eyes, I think, would make sense to do the eyes for one of the colors. However, I realized that I feel like 95% of the characters in Sonic's world have blue eyes. I'm not doing that. 
Um, no, 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 no. Because it's the elements. That's a lot of, lot of like water elements. Okay, I'm not doing that. So I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pick the three top colors on all the characters. I'm going to go with that. I know he's also got the peach for the arms, the stomach, and the muzzle. I'm not going to worry about that because, again, several of the characters have the same color. Or, like, roughly. I'm not doing that. So, like, Shadow's going to be super easy because he's black, red, and white. Those are the three. I mean, he's also got the gold rings, but I'm like, again, I don't really care. Um, Amy, again, super easy. Pink, white, and red. Tails will be orange, white, and probably red as well. There's going to be a lot of red for the time being, but that's just the way it is. Rouge will be white, pink, and black. Knuckles will be... It's going to be red. Oh, hell. Knuckles is going to be interesting. Probably green and orange, I think. Um, I'm going to do Scourge, too. He actually might be the next one I do. So Scourge will be the medium green. So this green. He'll be black. And I think he'll be the dark green. Because I know his shoes are black and green. He's got his black jacket. And his main green color. So, and then Sally will be a dark brown, light brown, and a blue. So, I'm like, those are going to be, like, super easy if I do it that way. I'm only doing her blue because her clothes are blue. That's why. At least her original clothes are blue. I know in the newer, when Archie was doing, like, the newer um, type, her clothes changed having, like, black and blue. But I'm just going to still the original blue. So, that'll be when I get around to doing them. But that's just for examples. Because I'm also, because I've already done Charmander. Um, so he was easy enough because I think he was three colors. Not really the red, but because they're fire types, I had to include the red. That's the problem because he's orange, which for me is metal and my elements. Um, Charmeleon will be easy because his main color is red. And then the problem is that Char uh, Charizard, he's also got the blue on his wings, but I'm going to skip the blue and I'm just going to stick with the red, yellow, and orange. So we're doing that. But, so I decided that. So that's a couple things. I'm also going to work on starting a blog. I'm going to call it Early Theo World Blog. Because, as I said with my store, I don't want to do just an art store. I want to do a whole lot more with it. Um, in the future, that's what I'm striving to do. So I want to create the World Blog because when I did Legal Zoom, they gave me a free Wix website. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Because I was like, I wanted to use Shopify. I already knew that. But I was like, well, since I have this website, I was like, well, that just made me make a blog. Because then I don't have to put the gallery on the shop website. I could put it on the um, blog website, which will be easy enough. So I don't have to worry about that. And I could just say, like, the store. So I'm just going to do that. Um, yeah. So I've made that decision. So that will probably be also a next week situation. I'm only saying next week because today, which technically I could do today. However, what I have decided was I'm going to do some experimenting today. Because I also have to do some stuff to get prepped up for, like, work for the week. Like, I gotta do laundry later and work on getting um, my food made. So, that's why I'm also not too worried about the um, doing that stuff today. Um, so, next week, we'll just kind of go hard into it, like, starting Monday. But I'm going to do some experimentations because I also want to actually go to the Dollar Tree and see what the Dollar Tree has available to, like, try some stuff so it's, like, cheaper. And just see what they have. Like, one thing I want to do is I want to, like, decorate frames. Um, and see how that works. So I want to get like some cheaper frames. I also have some diamond paintings, some like little square ones or like rectangle ones that I want to see if they have frames for so I can put on my wall uh, and go from there. So because frames are expensive, that's why I don't want to like go to like Target or anything yet because I was like, oh, let me just see what Dollar Tree has to see if they have like a decent size that I can use. So that's my idea. But um. I'm also going to try doing um, animation, I think, too, like on the weekends, because the other thing I've decided is I'm not going to do monthly challenges anymore because of the way I do it. I just don't think it looks good. Like, I thought it might help me, um, but I think just because it's so sketchy, it just does not look good. And I'm like, and I have so much content I have to post that I'm like, if I do challenges for the next two and a half months, I will never get caught up on content again. And I'm like, I don't want to have things that late. Especially with like art drawings and stuff when I put these guys up so that way when I put up the actual video I can put up that content So I'm just gonna stop the challenges I'm still gonna do like the little seasonal characters because I think it's just fun just to kind of have something like I don't mind um, So I'm just gonna keep going with that because I've already started that so I'm like, I might as well just keep going because it's just it's fun So I've also done that like there's been a lot of deciding things like but I'm okay with it just because 
to face, get rid of some stuff, and just try new things, I'm fine with it. But what I'm going to be experimenting today is I have a little shrinky dink paper I'm going to attempt to do to make little charms and whatnot because I also have a bunch of these, so I'm going to try and do things with this stuff. I just want to try to make little uh, clasps, like little clips and whatnot because I do have a toaster oven. So I don't know how far down I'm going to cook them, so we'll see. Because I know they get small and thick, so we'll have to see. Um, I'm also going to be doing some clay, so I'm going to try and do like little baby clay things. Like, I'm thinking of maybe making like almost 2D, like where it's flat on the back, like it lays flat, but then on the front it actually kind of, you know, pops out and stuff. So that's my intention. I'm going to try that. Um, also stickers. Why did I put magnet there? I put magnets. I don't have stuff. I don't have magnet backing. I can't do magnets. Maybe at the Dollar Tree there might have some or something. So magnets are out of the question because I don't have that stuff right now. I would like to do that to try and make like die cut magnets or something. So I know some people I see have been doing like bookmark magnets. So I want to try and do something like that. But I want to get magnet backing and see what other materials I would need for that. Um, but I'm also going to try and do stickers because I have sticker paper. But then I have the material that goes, like, the film that goes on top of stickers. I'm going to try that out and see what happens. Because I was going to do that, like, for commission stuff, pretty much. But i got to, like, try it out and see how it works. Because I don't have, I have a printer, but it's not a good printer. Like, it's really just for, like, printing out documents. Like, there's colored ink, but to me it's just not um, good enough quality. And I don't, I'm not just, I can't justify, like, going out and buying a whole new printer. So I'm gonna try this first because I'm also eventually gonna look on Shopify or Printify and see like the things that I can make in house and just keep um, Shopify, like Printify for things like I just can't really make or I just don't want to keep with me. Like the larger stuff, like the apparel, like I don't have room for that. The sticker paper and stuff, I have room for that. So that is my next intention. So that's where we're at. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting him done first. I'm probably gonna have breakfast though. I gotta get some protein in my system. But I'm gonna finish up markering him so that way maybe throughout the day if I wanna take a break or whatever, I can stop and come back and work on his pencil. Originally I wasn't gonna do marker and then I looked and I was like, oh, Charmander does have marker. So I thought I just did pencil. So I was like, well, hmm, guess we're doing marker. So we did. But that's where I'm at and then We'll see what happens. But I think for the little experiments, I'm just going to do make little stegosauruses just because I love stegosaurus. And I just want to do that. Um, and then we'll see. Maybe if I get comfortable, I might try and do a hedgehog and dragon too. I don't know yet. But that's where we're at. Maybe I could try some plants and whatnot, like these guys or something. Just try some random plants. I don't know. We'll see. That's where we're at though. So when I make progress, I'll show you. All right, I thought I'd do a little catch up since I've been doing some stuff. So I have hair everywhere right now. Oh. So first up, I got Phonics marker done. I have messed up so badly on this. That's the problem is when I do white. Ugh. Okay, so like right here, this should have been white. Um, and this should have been white. I didn't catch it till after I put the red down. I'm like, fuck. So... What I'm, because I, again, I messed up on his pants too by putting the blue there and I wasn't supposed to. So what I'm going to have to do is when I do the pencil is I'll have to cover it with white as best as I can. <sighs> so that way I can fix it. Luckily it's not like a super finished thing. It's just like more of like a sketch thing. It's just so I'm like, I'm not that worried about it, but I'm also like, mm, oh well. All right. So I found some paper. Also, <laughs> I just posted because I looked at my watch and it was almost one and I was like, I'm like, I haven't posted. And I'm like, I got to post. Because generally like 12 o'clock-ish is actually like a really good time for me to post. Roughly. More more for YouTube, everything else, it varies. But I was like, oh, I got to post. So I did. Okay. So. I found quite a bit of paper that I'm going to practice on. Okay. Um, also, for the art... I was going to do like four drawings, but I think I'm just going to do one for now. So, because I have these four, so I had a horse, a hummingbird, and a butterfly. But I'm just going to do a little stegosaurus for right now. So that's what he looks like. I'm not recording this. I'm just kind of just doing this just on my own. 
just for practice because I'm like, I don't want to record this. So, but I'm making him and he's absolutely adorable and I love it. So we're going with that because maybe over time I might um, do more. So I have a bunch of papers. So one thing I found was I have these shipping labels. So what it is, it's actually um, like it's paper. Like I could sit here and draw on this because it's not glossy or anything. Like it's fairly matte. So I'm going to try it because I was looking because, um, yeah, they're shipping labels. So it's completely like, um, op I think it's opaque is the right word. So the whole back is a huge sticker. So I'm going to draw on it and see what it looks like. And I'm going to stick it on probably like this or something because I don't want to stick it on one of my things. It doesn't come off. I'm not doing that. So because if it sticks on there fairly well, then I will probably do that just for like random orders, like for commissioned orders for my stickers for now. So I'm going to try that. I'm just going to draw like a little head on him on it just to get a little bit of practice and not anything too crazy. So I found that. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention when I first bought these. So I have silhouette paper. So when I first bought it, I was like, oh, I could draw on it because it's sticky on the back. That felt wet. No. So this is completely white. So it's almost, it's not glossy. But I don't think it would be good for me to like straight up draw on. I can try it, but like I don't want to waste it. Because the whole back is sticky too. So it's for making stickers with. So I have this one and then I also have a clear sheet because I think what I was going to do was I was going to draw on this and then use this, which this is clear, to kind of cover this, uh, the paper. So I think I'm not going to do that because now I'm thinking that eventually I would like to get like a silhouette or something. I guess I would have to get a silhouette if I'm using these papers. I don't know if it's compatible with Cricut. I'll have to see which one's cheaper or like what might be the better price and just pick that one because I think it would be good to have both or like to have it because stickers is probably one thing I will try and do in-house at some point but I would have to get a decent printer which I gotta look into that because I can't right now and I would need to probably get the silhouette or a Cricut or something so again I'll have to look at price wise which ones might be better um, and just see just because I bought that paper I mean, if the Cricut's better, then I could still probably use that for something else. I'll have to see. I mean, I could even attempt to use it with the Cricut, depending, and it still might work. But that's the whole reason why I bought that in the first place, but then I'm looking at it. Because I was going to do it for, like, the protective covering, but I'm like, I don't have to. Like, eventually, like, I could get, like, I mean, that's actual, like, sticker paper. So I could do both, where I have a matte version and I have a sticker paper version. I could tell people. I don't think it's waterproof. That's the only thing. So, but even the ones on Printify are not waterproof. So I don't know if I would need to look at getting waterproof paper, which I probably would need to. So in that case, I wouldn't be able to use that at all. So I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. <laughs> but I'll just have to look. Oh, I mean, I could still offer it, I suppose. And if you don't want water, and then I'll have to get waterproof and then I can offer waterproof. I don't know, we'll see. So the next thing I have is I have actual shrink ink paper which I also got at Michael's. So I have this one, which is a frosted one. Um, it's just your general, you know, it's just this. So I'm gonna use, I've, I've done shrink dinks before, but that was like, you know, back in like elementary school. So I'm still gonna try them. That's why I'm making my little stegosaurus because they're both see-through. I'm assuming these are instructions because I just don't know how long to like bake them for, but I don't think it matters. Um, okay, so yeah, so just one's markers and pen, which is fine. I have both. So I'm going to try the frosted to see how that looks. And I have clear. So I'm going to try both and see if I, if there's one I prefer or the other. If I like both of them, again, I can offer them up as options depending on what you want. So yeah, so we have the frosted and then we have the clear. So, I don't think the fingerprints will be too bad. Um, I also have a hole punch somewhere, which I'm going to use to go ahead and hole punch it. Because I'm going to try and do it with the um, Mika Charm too. So, that's where I'm at right now. So, we've made a little bit of progress. Not much. 
It's not surprising because I just sat there for like an hour trying to work on making a post. Um, because I actually posted this guy. I just want to make sure I had him up right. So I posted him. I called him a Mardi Gras stegosaurus because he reminds me of Mardi Gras with all the colors and the plants and stuff. I just think he's fun. I know. I like him. I think he turned out good. So I'm, um, I posted him. So I thought I had an actual like drawing portion and I didn't. I was really halfway through coloring this when I started to record him and I'm like, oh well. So I, even in the video, I was like, welcome to my halfway colored stegosaurus. So I just did it because I was like, why not? It's just fun. He's colorful. I might as well. So I got him posted because I got a whole bunch of videos. So I'm just going like in the order I have the videos just to make it easier for myself. So that's what we're doing. Because again, I'm not doing Inktober anymore. I'm, I'm not doing any challenges. I will still do seasonal art. And I think for some of the monthly challenges, I will do art. February, February and Mermaid, I don't think I will. I mean, maybe Mermaid, I could do like Hippocampus or something. I mean, sea creatures and like mists and stuff are one of the topics I want to do. Like with these like little drawings I've done. This kind of stuff. I do want to do those at some point because I have dinosaurs here. I mean, obviously there's more dinosaurs I could do, but. So that's where I'm at at some point. Um, and then Junicorn. I'm actually excited for Junicorn because I have, I'm going to make four different unicorns and I'm so excited because I know what I'm going to do and I think it's going to be kind of cool. I'm not going to, one of them is going to be your basic unicorn, but the other three are actually going to be kind of interesting. So I'm doing that. And then we'll go from there. But then some seasonal art will do like, you know, February or February for Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day, like that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that because once I'm done with the Christmas art, I got to start working on probably St. Patty's Day and, um, Valentine's Day, and then there's also April for Easter. I also got to do Mother's Day. I mean, there's a lot of that to do. Like, those one we have, like, between, like, one to two drawings. I'm not going to create characters for those. I'm literally just going to... Just because, I mean, I, they're big days. But they're not, like, seasons. That's why, like, for the fall, Halloween, and the Christmas, I'm making a whole bunch of characters because they're seasons. Like, they last a lot longer than one day. But I will also work on those so I can get those up probably late December, early January. So if you want to get those, you can. So that's where we're at. So we're making progress. But I'm going to get back to working on him. I'm hoping to at least get the Shrinkadink stuff done. I want to work on clay stuff too. Because I'm going to use them as my basis for my little clay project I want to try and do. But I also want to get the Shrinkadinks and the sticker thing done first to just test it out. Because if it works, then it's like, okay, that's another thing I'll add for commissions. Because even if I wanted to, I could like make a whole bunch of them and also put them up on Printify, uh, Shopify just as if you want to just buy them for yourself. Because, you know, Shopify, um, Printify doesn't have them as options. So that way I can mass produce. And that way, or I can have it on there where like you'll get like a random color. Like I could do a different colors or something and just kind of say like you'll get a random color one or something. Make it like a little fun. I don't know. Yeah, I'm watching Hell's Kitchen again. We're on season 11 now. I love Hell's Kitchen. Gordon Ramsay is like a number one. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So some progress has been made. So now we're going to try and hopefully next time I check in, I don't know when that'll be, but I'm hoping I can at least get him outlined to show you and maybe start coloring him. Oh, oh actually, no, I won't color him on the paper. I'm only going to color him on the shrink and ink stuff just to save myself some time and just have him on there just for line art purposes. All right, so I've been working on my little things with the shrink and inks and whatnot for a while now. I've only had one success. So I figured some stuff out. Um, so I'm like, okay. That's a good thing about experimenting. So I'm like, it's not like a huge problem. So this was a drawing I made. My cute little stego. So first up is the clear, the clear paper. Let me, let me be smart and actually, okay. So I did this with a waterproof pen, which I think it does not want. So then I proceeded to come over here and use Sharpie, which the Sharpie, because I rubbed it and it came off. So I was like, okay, that's not good. So then I used Sharpie, which the Sharpie was fine. So then I started, so over here, I actually was marking it with the colored pen. With, so these are like the regular alcohol ink markers. Okay, they didn't smear. So I was like, okay, this is good. So then I proceed to 
put the alcohol markers on here and it smudged the Sharpie. So I was like, okay. So then I tried to blend it out some. So I was like messing around. So finally I was like, okay, no outline. So I started doing this. Again, I'm not a fan of this because you can't really tell there's any shading going on, which I suppose what I should do is try and keep it simpler. So I'm like, it could work. I always need to make it really, really simple. I don't do simple. Mm -hmm. So now I have to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. So I could still do my little stecco outline. He just won't have any um, details. And then what I would do is I would do very basic shading. So I would just do the darkest color, like cell shading. So just do the darkest color for shading and then just keep the light color and be done. And they would need to have a straight line going across, like there's no blending. So I'm like, okay, so that's what I'm thinking is probably going to happen. So I actually tried to mark pencil on here and I can't. So I cannot use pencil with this. So it has to be straight up just two shades. So I will need to practice with that because I've never been very good at that. So that's what we're going to have to do, which is fine. Like, I just think, I think it'll probably help because it's just a diff, like a third style pretty much for me. So it's just something different. So these right here are actually paint pens. They don't smear, they work just fine. And I have a whole bunch of them. I could probably even eventually get more. I know there's a whole bunch out there. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe get more, but I might stick with the ones I have for the time being and see what happens. Cause I would rather do that. So way there's no smudging. Um, especially if I'm going to be doing, I mean the Sharpies work. But I feel like the paint pens would probably be better, especially if I'm trying to do like one color. So it's just like pretty flat. So I'll need to test actually. Let's test that out right now. So we have a Posca pen and I have a Artline Decor Decorite. So. Okay, so the Posca is smooth. I don't have a bunch of Poscas. I got these when I did, um, cause a long time ago, I actually was a part of a few art boxes. So that's where I got it from. I would never personally buy these cause they're expensive. I also don't have any real use for them. I thought about using them for paintings and if it works for these, I might just start using them for this too. I think it'll help too with like shading because if I can pick a semi darker color, it might help in that way. I'm not really like trying to blend them. So, Here's the Posca. Well, fuck. Okay, I put a lot on there, but there wasn't really any, um, like it was pretty one tone, which is nice. Um, the yellow, there are streaks. So I'll have to play around with those. So there's that. So this wasn't the best, but I think I have, I actually need to write that down somewhere of what I need to do with these just to kind of keep it a lot simpler. So for the frosted paper, so this is colored pencil, so I have success with pencil. It was essentially the same of what happened with the clear. Pretty much, again, it smeared, it was smudging with the Sharpie. But with the Sharpie, I'm gonna have to get the skinny black ones because I don't like thick lines. I just never have. So I will need to get skinny Sharpie to make it work, but at least I know it works. Um, and again, I was testing it out. Let's try again with these just to make sure it's pretty yeah so i'll just need to let them dry that's why it's smudged okay so here's the posca and then the deco one so again they're very flat like there's not streaks so i'm like okay so i can go back and forth see i can't really use sharpie on here i mean i'm fine i probably could if i practice a little bit more with the sharpie good thing i have you know I'm using these two papers so I could practice some more with these and get a little bit better at them, but I would just need to keep it to very, very simple drawing. So I can still kind of keep it the way I do it. I just can't do any like real line art to it. So that's what's going to happen, but that's all right. So, all right. So I finished those. So those were kind of a bust, but I'm learning some things and I'm deciding some stuff. Now, as for my little stick like label paper. So this is my little stego. Obviously, he was a success right here. So I actually put him down here where you can see, and then I moved him. 
So they're not completely stickable. Well, I just ripped them. So they're stickable. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend because I did. I just ripped them. But it's a success. Obviously, because it's actual just like matte drawing paper. And that way I have a matte sticker. Obviously, there's not going to be like coating on it. It won't be... um. Because I don't think it's waterproof. At least it doesn't say on here because I was reading it. But I'm fine with that. I can just tell people, like, it's just, you know, planner stuff. If you want to put it on, like, a piece of furniture or a book or something. Oh, I was like, who's going home? Um, so it works. So this was a success. So I have essentially an entire sheet still that I can use. So this is good. So I can make some matte stickers, like, commissioned-wise. Um, and then maybe eventually when I get, if I work, I'm going to get Cricut. I'll need to look at the prices and stuff for that and, like, everything I need. Then, because I already have the first silhouette, I should say. Whichever one is better price-wise will be what I get. I did not use my whole punch because I was like, I'm not cooking none of that because none of that's working for cooking. But I learned some things, so I'm okay with that. So I'll need to make some notes about the shrinky dinks. So that way, whenever I go... Because I might practice some more again later, we'll see. But, yeah, so I'll need to keep it to very simple drawings. So I'll need to make a few examples. And we'll do that. Because eventually I'm going to go to Michael's and whatnot. To get mostly for the Sharpie fine liners. And then maybe some other Sharpie colors. Because, oh, I wonder. Let me test something. Let me mark on these. Okay, so that works. Because I want to see if I color on this, can I do a mix match of... All right, let me let that dry for a minute. Because um, if, then maybe I can do a mix match of paint pens and Sharpies, which will help and give me more color variety so I won't need to get a whole bunch of colors in because I don't have enough for starting off. I just won't be using alcohol-based inks on these because they just don't look very nice. And then that way, I can put colored pencils on here. And I can mess around. Yeah, so the pencils go on there okay. So, yeah. That is just what we're going to do. So here's Posca on Sharpie, no, the Sharpie on the paint markers, and then um, the Sharpie with the paint markers on top. So that works. And then I can put colored pencil on top too. So I learned some stuff. Success. So that it's, it was a, um, not a complete success, but I learned. So now I know what I need to practice on and work on, which I will. So that way I can make those available, which will be nice. Plus plus. So I'll need to make a note of things I need to look at to go there. So I think now I'm going to put this away somewhere. I don't know where yet. I gotta figure that out. Um, and then I'm gonna work on some clay stuff because I'm gonna use my little Stego. Shit. I'm gonna use him for an example for clay. Because I'm going to try and do a 2D type of doodad with him popping off though. But he'll be flat on one side, but he'll be popping off on the other. To kind of give it like a slight 3D effect, I'm going to try it and see what happens. I might try this version and maybe a simpler version and see which one works. That's what we're going to do now. I just want to give a quick little update about what I've been working on for the past few hours. I've been doing some sculpting stuff. So here's the start of my little stegosaurus. Obviously he needs some work. Um, I might make try to make him a little bit smaller to maybe fit the circle, but here's the start of him. Um, then I started this, so it's like trees with like um, a flat background. I'm gonna try and put a bird in here and maybe some other stuff, but there's that. And now I also have some molds that I bought. Oh no, damn it. It's fine. I just gotta eventually, um. Shit. There we go. So these are some molds. I've got coral, some shells, 
sand dollar turtle. So I'm also going to do some like silhouettes down here and then maybe just kind of fill in with a little bit of like a seascape type of thing. Um, and the last one I have almost like a field with a butter with two butterflies. I know it looks kind of weird right now, but I'm like, I'm just trying to mess around with it. Because this is like Sculpey or just like regular clay or something. I'm almost wondering if I want to try and get um, polymer clay with this stuff. When I do these molds, it's a little bit harder. I would have to try it and see. But that's what I've been working on. So I'm probably going to stop now because it's, you know, almost 8 o'clock and I have to eat dinner. Um, and I think I'm just going to draw probably for the rest of the time and just work on my Christmas stuff. So I'm going to put a hold on these. Um, and I'll get back to them eventually. But yeah, so that's what I did for a few hours. So I'm like, not too bad. I still got a lot to learn, but I just wanted to try and mess around with it for right now. So, that's where we're at. Hey guys, so it's Sunday. So I got a couple things I can fill you in on that I've done. Whether they're good or bad, we'll find out. So, what do I want to talk about first? I guess I can talk about the art first. And then the other things I've done. <laughs> so... I decided to be a little more productive at work and do some extra stuff. So a couple weeks ago, I did show these. I bought some like little diamond painting coasters. So they're little hedgehogs. So yesterday at work, I actually sat there and worked on them. And I got them all done. Um, so I then, because they're actual coasters. So I don't have like diamond painting glue or anything. Um... So I just put their protective film back on it with the tape, just so that way it kind of protects it a little bit. So I did those, so that was production. Um, this morning, I actually managed to get these completely finished, so my like little business cards that I have. So I have all my Arlathea characters right now with my crest. So it's all of these. I've done these like a long time ago. Um, so I did those, so I got the, like, digital parts done, so I blacked it all out, um, and then I put words up here and down here, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna, I put Arlathea up here, but I just have Arlathea.com down here, but because I'm also gonna be doing my blog, I'm gonna go ahead and put down Arlathea World Blog as well, just so they're both on there, and everybody else just has their name like on the side where it was available. I'm debating on if I want to put down like what story they came from, but I'm thinking on the blog, I would put these on there just to kind of like show like business cards available because they're supposed to be like collectible business cards. So like, each one's different. So when you get an order from me, it's just like a random pick. I'm going to do all my stories. I have a whole bunch more I got to do. So I think what I'm going to do at work is I might work on those uh, just to get them done because I'm not recording them. So I can really just sit there and just work on them. So that's what I'm thinking. Is I might start taking everything and just kind of work on it while I'm there. Just the way they're done now. Even though I don't need them right now. But at least they're done so when it comes time. I can just post. So that was one thing I did. So another thing I did. Was I have this coloring book here. Um, it's Astrology Coloring by Anna Jaron. Jaron. Um, because I don't. I'm not going to do any more coloring videos on my YouTube channel. I'm probably going to take them all down just because it's not my stuff. And I'm like, I just, whenever I do them, I'm not in the mood to like record them. So I figured while at work, I will just do them at work as well just to pass the time. So here's the first one I did. I hope you can see that. Um, so there's also words with each of the pages. So it says constellations. Of the 88 constellations that glitter the night sky, only 12 are linked to signs of the Greek zodiac. These 12 are aligned so that the sun appears to travel through, through them during the year. But what is a constellation? Stay, uh, stars in the galaxy are scattered across a vast three-dimensional space. When viewed from Earth, they appear as two-dimensional shapes. These shapes are associated with pictures that are linked to magical myths and legends. So they have Greek mythology and I think Chinese mythology in here as well. Yeah. So, like, here's the Gemini twins. I am actually a Sagittarius. 
because my birthday is November 22nd and I'm also a rabbit because I was born in 99. I'm not Year of the Dragon, which sucks. There's also, oh, the Egyptian Zodiac is in here. I did not know that. Oh, the Native American. The Vedict. Oh, this is interesting. So, yeah, sun, the moon, planets, like, all that kind of stuff's in here. So, I thought it was kind of cool. So, I was like, yeah, I'll color it. So, I got one page done. Well, done. I still got to put pencil on there, but I'm going to do that on my own time. So, probably next weekend or something, we'll have to see. Also, I have this little book. It's called a Dino Builder. I got it from Five and Below a very, very long time ago, like, years ago. And I just now started coloring in it. So, I've only gotten the marker done. Um, so now I'm working on the card pencil. So this is a little T-Rex. So I only have his tail and his leg done. So I'm still working on him. But I have gray as the shading. So I'm using French grays is what I have. Because I don't use them too much. Because they're like, they're like a brownie gray. I just don't like them that much. But um, And a silver. So I'm using it for the shading for him. So then we have a Spinosaurus. So I literally just grabbed a couple of... um markers and I just did like random picks of what's going to be on what dinosaur. I stuck with my three colors. I didn't do my version of the dinosaurs. I just wanted to just color them how they were. So some of them you'll see the way she drew her lines. I made them as patterns just to make it a little different. But what you do is you can stand them up. So here's a stand piece. So it just slips in there like that and they'll stand up. So I was like, so I was like, I'm like, what can I do with these? I just thought they were cute. So I was like, yeah, I'll get them. It was $5. And uh, we got the plesiosaur. So, like, they're definitely, like, simpler. Like, I don't know. It was just fun to, like, color them. So, here's a pterodactyl. Uh, it was just, I don't know. I just liked coloring it. It was good. I think the Parlophosaurus turned out pretty good. Because the way she had her lines, I just made this almost like an Oreo cookie, if you will. Where I split his half in the middle. And then I did his tail. So, I thought that was kind of fun. Uh, we got the Triceratops. Some of them are more simpler than others, but... I was just having fun. Uh, Brontosaurus. We got the Ankylosaurus. And we have my BB, the Stegosaurus. So I know it's gray, but I am going to do black. Again, this was not planned. This was randomly grabbed. But because I already have gray in another one, I was like, let's just do gray here. Or black here. So that's <laughs> my baby. So that's all of them. Um, it even has this like little scene at the end, but because the stegosaurus is here, it's gonna get popped out. So there's not really much point in doing that. Um, so I'm gonna work on those myself. So I did two more things. So one of them was, okay, I hate how your phone, I love and hate how your phone listens to you when you talk. So remember when I said, I think it was yes, Friday, I said that I was gonna eventually look into getting either like a cricket, a silhouette and a printer just to have for my own, for using here for like me creating some products myself in-house. So what do I see on Am on Instagram? An ad for a printer slash cutter. It's a two-in-one device. So I was looking at it, it's on Kickstarter. I have never backed to Kickstarter, but I was like, I was like, what the hell is this? So I was looking at it. So it prints and then it cuts for you. So you can do a four by six sheet of paper. So for example, this is a six by eight. So it's probably gonna be like to here, maybe a little lower. But I'm like, I can deal with that just for like small like little sticker packs or something. Cause I was gonna do like my little characters that I have. And then if you have, you know, if you do your own um like commission sticker, I can print it out and I can get it cut like perfectly. So I don't have to deal with that. Like I just gotta draw, I take a picture and then it'll get cut for me. So I was like, oh. I was like, I like this. So, but I'm also wondering if I could, if I don't, if I just draw it myself, do I have to cut it? But it's on sticker paper. It's on a specific, specific type of sticker paper that they have. So I was looking. So what they're also going to be doing is they're based in Hong Kong. So they asked for 10 grand to get it done over 10 grand USD. They're at 500 K and I was like, that's amazing. So I'm actually probably going to do it because they have one tier, like they have like several tiers. I'm going to do the first tier. So I get a printer, I get 36 sheets of paper. It's like two different types of sticker paper, the blade, and I get, get an ink cartridge. 
So I was reading some more and it says that like once they launch, they will have the supplies on Amazon to like, you know, the cartridge and everything. And I was like, oh, that's nice. But I'm like, if I don't see it, then I might have to go through their website, I think, to buy it. But I'm like, if it's coming from Hong Kong, I would need to stock up. And then I would need to like, from the day it shipped to the day it arrives, how long did it take? So I know in the future. So I have until November 10th because that's when it, that's when the backing ends. So I'm thinking I'm going to do it, but not at this moment because I'm doing ads because I've still made zero sales and I have to try something. So there was this, again, another ad I saw on um, Instagram called Zeely. It's an AI generation ad. So I did it. So your first month is $30 and then there's three different like prices you can pick. Honestly, you're not really saving any money. You're saving $1 in the different tiers. So I was like, okay. So I picked the one where it was $80 a month, but the first month is $30 and I did $120 for the first week. So I just picked a random product off my store because, and then I have it showing in several states in the U.S. right now because I'm not doing worldwide yet. I was going to do worldwide. I'm like, that makes no sense if I'm not doing that yet. So that is a goal for tomorrow. I was trying to figure out if I need anything special for the store to do a worldwide shipping. If I don't, then I can sit here and I can update all the rates. And then next time I do my next ad, I can start putting it around the world in like different countries and stuff. That's what I'm going to do. So I just did the 120 because I was like, okay, I was like, here, let me just try it. Let me go heavy right now. I think after that, if it's not doing that much, I might just go to 60 and try that. But I think the next ad, because I picked up my little fire dragon and I wasn't thinking, but I was like, oh, I probably should have picked like a Halloween and fall. So when I do my next ad, that's what I'm going to do. Because I was hoping, I mean, it runs until the 12th, which I think is Thursday. It's like a six day long event. What I'm hoping is that if I can at least make back the 120 in sales, if I get any, that would be great. Because then I could put that 120 right back into doing more ads. But then I will actually have Halloween products. So when I create it, I'm going to have to go through and just pick Halloween and fall ad specific. And just try that. Because the Halloween is going to be going away really soon because it, you know, it's kind of almost too late to order Halloween right now. And the fall will stay up longer because the fall is going to last a little longer. That's where I'm at. So, so far, because I did it late last night, like around 8 o'clock is when I actually got, like, done. Um, so, let's see. So, yeah. So, it's like, my little, I can't tell. But, so they make you do three different campaigns, and you have to create three different, like, ads within those campaigns. I don't know. And then it runs them. See, so, because you can pick which, because um, they have a several different sites you can choose from on which to run. So I have a whole bunch of them on there. So, so far, only one of them has actually gotten any views. So I've gotten six views. It spent 20 cents. And the per 1K impressions is 33.33. And it has 120 to work with. And it says it's going to use the whole 120. So then cost per mile is 11.11. So, but yeah, so still nothing. Um, but I was like, let me just try it and just go with it. Because I'm also going to look at doing, creating the blog this week. Like I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to get done this week. So I'm hoping like between Monday, Tuesday, I can get the rates fixed for the international shipping and whatnot. Because Printify has it set up as Canada, Australia, and International. So I'm gonna set it up the same way. So that's four different rates I have to do for all the products again. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. But I just gotta make sure I don't need anything specific. Because if I need like certain licenses or something, then I'm gonna have to get those. But I just wanna make sure before I go ahead and do it, because I wanna do it, but I need to make sure I'm compliant before doing so. So that's where I'm at. So yeah, so far nothing. I'll let you guys know I'll let you know Wednesday, I suppose, because Wednesday is the last day for the vlog this week. Because I said I put them up on Wednesdays now. Um, 
I will let y'all know. So I'm going to leave it alone for the next three days and then we'll see what happens on Wednesday. I, yeah, so far nothing. So maybe I'm like, well, Thursday, I guess either Thursday, Friday, depending on when this ad ends. If not, I will start a new one on Thursday, I suppose. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably knock it down to like 60, um, I think. And then I will do just Halloween and fall and see if maybe that gets a better response. I hope. But we'll see. Because I'm also like, I also need to make videos. I think the videos would help too, but I gotta figure out what kind of videos I wanna make. I have an idea. I just don't know. But I'm also like, it might not be the best idea. I might, I might save it for Christmas instead. Because I'm also gonna be doing the Christmas stuff here soon. Because I gotta make that video, so. Yeah. Because that'll be a little bit different. So I gotta write that down. So I gotta make ads this week. At least one, because then I can do the same. I can use the same stuff, but just modify it slightly. Because all three of my little ads I created, they're all the same, but modified slightly in the wording, just to kind of see if maybe something would help over the other. But as it goes on, I will update y'all. I'm not giving up. We're we gotta try stuff. I like, I'm I'm throwing away a lot of money right now, but. I gotta do what I gotta do. And right now, if it wasn't supposed to happen, then I wouldn't have seen it. So I'm like, maybe this is good that I've seen it. But again, with the printer slash cutter, I will be doing that. I'm gonna probably wait before I do it because they won't even be shipping out domestically until December. So I won't even get it till next year. Not a big rush. Like I can do stuff manually here. I'm not that worried about it. Um, so we'll see. But I'm also, like, if they have emails, I also might sign up for the emails in case they develop more products like that. Then I could look into it and get more of those. So I'm kind of tempted. I just think it's cool with the cutter slash printer thing. That's a two-in-one, and I'm like, that actually saves space and money. Because a Cricut, you know, slow it alone is like, what, probably three, two hundred, three hundred dollars And then a printer on top of that, you're looking at, like, five, six hundred, you know, for both of them. So I'm like, mm. And it's actually two fifty because it's on sale. So, because it's originally 300 but it's on sale for 250 so, like, I should probably do that. I think I will, but, again, I'm gonna give it a little bit before I do. So, I gotta go take a shower and such, and plan out my week, and go from there. Hi, so it is now Wednesday, and we have a big ass hurricane coming. I'm gonna ride it out. I think that's what a lot of people are doing in my apartment complex, is that we're all just kind of ride it out. Because we're up north in Florida, and it's, he it's more, like, in the middle of it. So I'm like, we'll probably get, like, the wind and the rain. <clears throat> but that's probably about it. And maybe the power out. But I have candles and a flashlight, so I'm like, I'm not too worried. I'm not going to go to bed tonight because of that. So, but what I was going to do was I'm just going to read. Okay, I'm going to use my candles and just read by candlelight. Um, I do have my flashlight. I bought some extra batteries, but I don't want to use the flashlight the entire time. Because it obviously be a good time to draw if I'm staying up all night, but because of the light, I'm only going to do it if the lights go out. I'm assuming the lights will be going out because even the JEA is like prepared. So this is just assuming lights are going out. I'm going to use my, I have like three really big ass candles that I'm just going to use and just going to read the whole night. And I got my flashlight to walk around in and I got plenty of dry snacks like pantry stuff. And I got some drinks and I'm getting some water stuff prepared just to... Be on the safe side, assuming we're not going to have anything for like 24 hours. So, because I'm not driving down to my parents' house. Because I'm like, I got to drive all the way back and all this bullshit. And I'm like, I don't really want to do that. And they're not really much safer because they're closer to the storm than I am. So I'm like, no, I'm okay. There is a flood warning though. So that's the other problem. But like where I'm at, it's not completely flat. Like there are like, I think the middle of the road's like flat. But then when you park, like, coming up to the building and then, like, the parking spots are actually at, a, like, a slight incline. So it's not completely flat. Plus, there's a bunch of, like, flood, the uh, water grates everywhere, too. So, I don't know. But today, what I'm going to do until pretty much the whole day is I'm going to continue working on the shipping situation business that I've been trying to do for the past two days. They're taking me a while, unfortunately, which is not a surprise. Um, I'm, like, halfway through, I think. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and make sure that... You can do ship worldwide shipping just because I'm using the Printify right now and they offer it. So I'm like, okay, let's go just get it set up. So we're doing that. Um, and then I also have a blank journal that I'm actually going to start writing down all my launches in along with the products 
the sales and the amounts, and then also with any of the ad situation that I do, and then probably some extra notes of like either learning things or like what I should try differently, maybe that kind of thing. So way every launch I can hopefully build off of the previous one because we are still at zero sales right now. Um, but I'll go ahead and go through the ad situation since I said I would before I post this because I'm actually about to upload this vlog in case, you know, internet goes out too. So let's see where we're at. Um, there have been impressions, but it's just nothing's like led to any sales at the moment. Okay. So. Alright, so for the one that actually like. Yeah, so I did do three different campaigns, but they would only do the one that, like, actually got things. So for it, I got 22,453 unique viewers. I got almost 2,900 total views. It spent 70, uh, $72. There's been 89 clicks and 88, per, uh, 88 cents per impression. There's a 3% click-through rate and 2,684 and per 1K impressions. So, I put 120 into this, and it's, I mean, I have until Saturday, so I'm sure it'll use the rest of it, but I only did um, the campaign in the U.S., because that's what I had only able to ship at this time, but I am, again, working on doing the worldwide, so because I have this book called One Million Followers, it actually suggests that when you do ads for the first time to do it in like um, other countries, not the US, because if you do that, then it'll actually lower your rate overall. So it's actually cheaper to get people because when I do my next ad campaign, I'm only going to put in $60. I'm not going to do 120 again. Um, so I'm going to do like India probably. Well, actually, I can't do down south because on the shipping, you can't do down south. I cannot do South America. It only does like North America, America, um, and Europe. And then like Oceania, I think, you know, Australia, New Zealand. I don't do no down south, so I can't do anything down south, but I can do the rest of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and hopefully with doing that, I mean, I'll still do some states in the US, but I'm gonna mostly just do other countries and just see if that helps. Because if I get more of that and it lowers my um, ad rate, then it'll be better because then I'll reach more people for less. Because that's what you want to do is when you do ads, you want to get more people for less. So you want a good ROI. So that's where we're at with that. Um, now, the website impressions. I'm also thinking maybe when I... Because the next ad I'm going to do, it's going to involve Halloween and fall only. So I'm wondering if that might help. When I do that. Uh, okay, so I've had 277 sessions. However, I don't know if that includes just myself. Because I know when I was setting up the website, I was going on it quite a bit. So I don't know if that some of that includes me or if it's just actual like customers. I don't know. So, I mean, as far as I know, you can check out. Because when I did the practice checkout, it worked. And I've been checking my email. I haven't got any emails or like questions or anything or saying like, hey, it's not able to. I don't know. Um, but Christmas is coming. So I'm going to. Um, so probably by the end of the month, I will have Christmas stuff up. To be honest, I'm probably a little late, but it's fine. Because I know there's a lot of people who have not gotten Christmas stuff up on the YouTube I've seen. They're talking about like designing stuff now, but they don't have anything up for Christmas. So I think I'm actually in a good place. Um, so I think that as long as, because that was my plan was to try and get it up by November 1st. That's my idea. Um, because I think October 31st is a Thursday, so I think November 1st is a Friday. So that was my intention was as soon as I get these art products done, start fixing them and uploading them now. So that way I can just hurry up and just publish them. Because I can go ahead and see, I don't know if I can, I mean, I already have the rates then, so I just got to add them to their rate profile, so I'm like, that's not going to take me that long to do it all, because the rest of it's done, um, and then I can get it up. So, it's just, I just got to finish them, which, originally I was going to try and finish my Sonic, but I think I'm just going to try and work on Christmas stuff right now, because I want to get them done by next Wednesday, or the 15th, um, 
So, but now I'm like, I probably need to start working on them versus Sonic to get them done. And then if I have time, maybe this weekend, I'll work on Sonic some more. Because I'm not going to probably have another video go up this week. But again, I'm like, I'm not that worried about it. It's not like I have people wanting my content that much. So, <laughs> it goes up when it goes up. So, we'll just do Sonic next. And then, I think after that, it's another comic page. Yeah. And then we'll do that. So that's where we're at, but I, um, let me show you what I accomplished at work yesterday because I've been working this like the past three days. So it's this little dino book that I've had. I got from Five and Below a very, very long time ago and I finally colored them. They turned out so good. Like I completely finished them. I have an idea for a fun like little video, but when that will happen, I don't know. It's not a priority. It's just when I have the time or if I don't have much left then I can sit here and kind of work on it. So here's T-Rex. But I don't know, I like the colors, like, because here's a Spinosaurus. Um, but just the colors, like the way I colored them and everything. Because the shades, I just did a random color generator. Like, that's all I used. Like, his, the shading was done with brown. You can't really tell. That's why I'm like, these turned out so good. I think he's interesting. I actually used, I think, green or blue for his shading. But, like, look. Look how cool that looks. So I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, these turned out so good. He's a basic bitch, but I don't really like Triceratops anyway. He actually turned out kind of cool. He almost kind of gives me like Dawn vibes because of how dark he is. But then he has like some of the colors. I'm like, this turned out so good. I can't with these. I was like, I'm really happy with these. So there's Ankylosaurus. Um, and then we got my baby Stegosaurus. Obviously he had to be the green, black, and blue. But those again were randomly picked. So, um, and then before I end this off, I also went to, I just actually went to the Dollar Tree and Target this morning, try and get some stuff. So Dollar Tree or Target, I went to the second, I was trying to get a lantern there. Like they had one, but it had needed like a 40 battery. I don't know what the hell that is. It was $25 lantern. And I said, you know what? I'm like, I'm not even going to buy it because I don't like, I was trying to look them up on Google and it kept pulling up these like big ass batteries. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I was like, we're not doing a lantern. I'm like, it's not that necessary. So maybe over time I'll try and buy a lantern for myself, like a battery powered one just to have here. Um, but I just got a few snacks and some drinks just to kind of have, um, they're actually snacks I never had. Well, one of them, I got some beef jerky just to kind of have it for the protein. Another one was just like prebiotic, probiotic fruit bar. So I was like, I'll try it. It's mango flavored. So I was like, what the hell not? Um, Cause I actually got a lot of other snacks already. I am going to be eating some like frozen and cold stuff here soon, just to kind of help clear out the fridge and the freezer a tiny bit, just in case. Um, but the Dollar Tree, I... actually got this cute little hedgehog pumpkin. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh, look, I get it. It's adorable. Like, look at them. And they already have Christmas stuff out. So I was like, my intention is probably sometime in November, I'm going to go get Christmas stuff because, fuck. Never mind. I'm going to have to go sooner because I got to get shit for that. Never mind. So the good news is, is that when I'm ready, so probably next week. No. Yes. I have to work Tuesday and Wednesday. So probably like Thursday, Friday, I'll go back to the Dollar Tree and I will get Christmas items. And then probably to Michael's because I need some paper for the backdrop so I can take pictures of my Christmas stuff. So, but I just saw this and I said, I'm going to get him. I love him. So um, I also got some batteries that I needed for my flashlight because I have some double A's, but it, it needs triple A batteries. So I was like, oh, okay. But Dollar Tree had some, so I just bought two packs. So I got eight of them. Plus on top of the ones that are already in the um, battery, in the flashlight. Because I don't use a flashlight too much, but I don't know how much longer they're going to last. So I'm like, I don't want to risk it. But I also, while I was walking up and down these aisles, I saw this. It's a Jurassic Park fun pack. Um, there's two sets of stands. And two dinosaurs, which I don't know what that means exactly. So, but I got Giga versus um, T-Rex and I got Blue and Beta. So I'm actually really excited. So let's open this and see what the hell is in here. 
I also got these cheap ass little markers, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. Probably use them and get rid of them because I don't think they'll last very long. Match the sticker to the shape. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a little game. So there's them with the stand, which I'll probably put up later. So it's just little dinosaurs I got with this cute little dino pack a long time ago. But I'm like, I could try and use this too and see how washi works because I know Michael sells a bunch of it, but I'm like, if I'm going to do some of the stuff, I should probably go through like small artists. Um, so now for the coloring pages. I think it said there were 12, which is fun. So we got this. Got Rexy. Um, create your own scene. Oh, I guess that's where the stickers go. No. I don't know. Um, we got Giga. Pyro. Um, we gotta take Blue to Beta. <laughs> okay, so that's where you would need to include her sticker. Ah, uh, I see. But it's interesting because that sign doesn't have a sticker, so I guess it's create your own sign, but then... Interesting. Um, we got the Atrociraptors. Oh, I can make a little egg drawing. Ooh, we got the Therizno. We got this, the little tower. It says you can draw your own scene, but... We got the Paraloff going to the greenery. We got Blue and Beta again. And spot the difference. So that's kind of fun. So I might take these to work too and kind of just do them while work. Honestly, I'll probably just color them. I don't really think I'm going to draw much, maybe. I don't know. But those are kind of fun. So it's $1.25, so I was like, oh, why not? I saw it, and I was like, ooh, activity pack. I'm like, I love this. So. But, yeah, so I think I'll just, wherever I can, if there's extra room, I'll just probably put, like, a sticker or two or something um, on there. I mean, some of these I probably won't do. I actually might just keep it for, like, drawings on the back or something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, pretty fun. But I think I'm just going to end it here so that way I can get started. Um, so I can make myself some food and then I got to get started working on these little shipping doodads. And we'll go from there. And then I'll update y'all as we make more progress. But I am just going to end it here so I can get this up to make sure it does get up before the power goes out. And we will update as we go. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!